Right, I don't want to cut you. Go ahead, brother. brother. That's it. Because it go back to what the brother said, man. What, what he started off with, going back to John the third chapter, man. Uh -huh. They they the wicked hated the light. That's it. So when the light started to come out, yep. them demons flared up in yep. She just, she wasn't gonna come to the light. She wasn't gonna be reproved uh -huh. by the word yep. of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because right. the brother reading the scripture, her reply was, "Oh well, that's Paul. To Who is that?" That's, yeah, she said that's Paul letter to yeah. they go that deep. We read uh, uh, Timothy and she yeah. talking about oh that was he was saying that he to said, the Corinthians. So you see they don't listen, they don't hear shit, they just got whatever's in their head, they that's all they want to do. That's why they the counterpart of Esau, man. Now if you brothers could hear, she made a statement saying that we think with the head between our legs and try to try to basically from basically coming from a male point of view. That's how we uh, break down the scriptures. But the scripture is from a male that's point right, of view, man. man. Uh, and that's how that's how we testify. Yeah. That's right. On the on the on the you know on by on behalf of our testicles. Con. No, it ain't about you know thinking with the head that's between our legs, man. The Most High set it up where he 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 put the man as head. Right. You know. And all these, all these men, man, that's out here in Babylon, man, that they, they, that woman, basically their nuts are in their woman's purse. Better believe, yeah. bro. They're not gonna make it out of Babylon, yeah. cause they go back to you know, First Corinthians the sixth, uh, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. The feminine is not gonna inherit the kingdom of God. These niggas let their women walk around with their nuts, man, yeah. and they ain't, they scared to say something scared to do something just you know let the woman basically run run the house run everything right run the money run everything you know and that's the, that basically that's that babylonian philosophy that's gonna die with babylon come on. that shit is not gonna play in the kingdom that's to right. come that shit is not gonna fly that's right and that's why uh, one of the reasons why the lord said the rebels um, that's amongst us gonna be purged out. Gone. Anybody on that philosophy, anybody that don't want to serve your house shy, they gonna be weeded out, man, and put to death. What you gonna say, bro? No, nah, I was just gonna say, not that uh, instance, because they claim they wasn't together. It's probably a bullshit, but just in general, man, majority of the time, you have a couple come up and you will let a man, a man to sit there and let his goddamn woman address a group full of men, a real right. man, even if you don't know what the fuck is going on, what the subject is, not have no knowledge on it, a real man not gonna let his woman go engage and have a full-blown conversation and fucking uh, argue and discuss nothing with a group of fucking men. A real man, a fucking man, snatch her motherfucking ass up, man. Yeah, he's sitting there pleading with her, come on baby, let's go, let's go. No, you tell your woman. Yeah, that wasn't his woman, bro. Oh, she, no, I'm just saying. Right. No, he said he, he said a, a good friend. Oh, okay. I was right here. I, oh, I okay. heard. Him. But you can make your point. I'm just saying oh, that, that dude. Cause that's true. That happened in general. But in right. that case, but still though, if that even if she talk, hey, no, and that shit don't exist, man. A woman, if you a man, then you supposed to be popping that woman, man. All that, that's my friend shit, yeah. that's bullshit, yeah. man. Yeah. The hell you got a woman, you got your friend, is a, is a, you got friends with other men. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But that's still not like a right man take that and say yeah. we on some homosexual yeah. shit or something. Nah, right we use saying, women. Man. A woman, we supposed to be next to a woman and we supposed, that's supposed to be our intimate, intimate with her. Not fucking, oh, that's my friend. She getting popped by some other dude, but oh, that's my friend. That's wicked. Hell yeah, that's wicked, man. But hey, Babylon is like that, man. But you know, hey, we ain't got to worry about that in the kingdom, man. Uh, the kingdom's on. gonna be populated by real men, man. Uh, you know. And you know, hey, that's the that's the brothers in GMS, man. You know. We sick of these women trying to usurp authority, man. This bitch stood right here and tried to usurp authority. She gonna tell me to be quiet. Hold on, hold on. You know? And I'm sitting up here, this brother like, you, 
got a point, get to the point. I'm like, oh. you know, and then she didn't have a point, man. Yeah, no. She didn't have a point at all, man. But yeah, yeah. she tried to she tried to engulf a bunch of points in the a, a fucking a disorientation of Babylon. You know, she didn't she had no point. But we can't stick to one thing. She they got all these different thoughts and emotions running through their damn head. So from now on, man, I'm straight up, man. I ain't tolerating this. These fucking bitches come up and they can ask, you know, if they got a little question, but I already knew this you can you can see the spirit just jumping off of that damn demon. She tried to come with that that old subtile uh, spirit. But I, I knew the, I knew it. We all knew that she was gonna come out of that, that damn Dumbass bitch. That's what she was. But you ain't, you ain't fuck. Not only did they gay yeah, these motherfuckers, if a woman come up, she gonna shut the fuck up, man, cause I don't wanna hear that. Don't none of us wanna hear that. That they, they ain't got no point. They ain't got no point. They ain't got shit but a bunch of bullshit to speak. We speaking according to the, the words of the most high. Then they so-called quote scripture, they don't understand. Yeah. But hey, that's beautiful edification for come, you kind of gentler Israelites. <laughs> and so you cannot, you got to be right, right. up front right. and, and, and blunt. Right, come. I steer come with our people, man. Right, straight up. Cause they, man, you see it all in your everyday life, man. Uh, a nigga always trying to, trying to teach you. That, and yeah. you know, you can be doing something, knowing what you're doing. You uh, know, uh, the best way to do that. I don't want to hear that shit, man. I'm doing it. You know, Jake, I always want to show what they know, man. Yeah. Right. And the test time out for that, because you want to be blunt about it, Jake don't know shit. Right. Oh. That's what he need to know. That's calm, bro. Y'all know how to roll up Phillies, calm. you know, perfect, make them look like, <laughs> yeah, like cigarettes. Y'all yeah. know how to, you know, cook up dope yep. to perfection. Yep. Yeah, but... Do you know what that said the Lord in his word? Right. Yeah, man, so, hey, man, to hell with Jake, man. That's why we come out here and curse Jake out. There's no being nice to a nigga. Right, straight That's right, up. right, man. There's no being nice to a nigga, man. But I say, that's good edification for the next God. time you motherfuckers say, oh, y'all message too rough. If y'all would just tone it down. Okay, well, that's what happened when yeah, you tone that, it down. It. Yeah, you get book promotions. <laughs> you know, oh, Jake want to bust a rap and right. t tell you about his rap contract yeah. he's right. trying to get. His organization. Uh, this one, the community up. This one, this? that one woman a long time ago came out, started singing. I don't know if y'all, y'all was here. I don't <laughs> yeah. yeah. She talking about her contract with Microsoft and Google. What the hell you doing walking? What you talking about though? What's your get to? What you talking about? And then what? Yeah, cause I was waiting to cut her. But yeah, the bitch wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. But first of all, I mean, I'm under the impression she you know, she had a problem with the Bible. Yeah. That's why she had God that's what came I was, to me. Right. Yeah, told me I'm telling his and story. Oh, you know, but man, hey. that shit don't even make sense, man. She ain't got no contract. She got a contract with Satan. Come on. But yeah, yeah brothers, for we were so rudely interrupted. We gonna go back to that Job. Yeah, this is Job 18 and 8. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The gin shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Now, now the brother Abijah made a uh, statement earlier that, yeah, the Most High got these white people, the elites, in a trick bag. To where they, their own counsel that they counseling to bring about this third world war is going to be their demise. It's going to be their own demise. And they think, they think that it's going to be for their profit to bring in that new world order for them to rule. But no, in, in reality, it's going to be their downfall. Go ahead, brother. So they they setting the gin and the snap, uh, snare and the gin for their own set selves, just like Haman did. Uh, Haman, how do you pronounce it? The, uh, he was an Edomite, but he was an Edomite of... Uh, Oh, 
uh, uh, ag uh, uh, yeah, ag aggregate who uh, basically who who built up that that uh it was a uh, gallo I forget it uh but uh, in the book of uh in the book Ruth. of Esther oh Esther Salakim for Esther in the book of Esther he wanted to, he wanted to put a Mordecai yeah. on the gallows. And he had the gallow built, but it was for his own, you know, yeah. for his own demise. Well, this is what's going on spiritually right now with these Edomites, yeah, you know, harming the Agagite. We're going back to the, uh, King Agag, who Samuel hewn to pieces. Yeah, right. So he go back to that lineage. Let's go ahead, brother. Job 18 and 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him from his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. Right. So he going around the world terrorizing the whole world, not even knowing that the Most High going to have terrors for, for him. Come and say terrors shall make him afraid on every side. On every side. That's through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This devil is going to be in straits, man. On every turn, he's going to have terror about him. Right. And he's he going to, you know, he, he's going to be out of his wits. The most I got, he got, he got something in store for you elite, man. And throughout all that, y'all still going to be preserved for slavery. That's right, yeah. A lot of you other Edomites, you low-level Edomites, going to just die. Uh, yep, yeah, that's right. You know? You got to think of the elite's mind frame, just the fear of their riches being taken from them. Yeah. Before right. they even dragged in, just seeing that, okay, shit, it's over. My plan then blew up on me. And that's how the most I did ancient Egypt. He had the pitch black darkness come upon them. They was, they was hearing lions roaring and stuff. Terrors, so we don't know what the most I got in store right. this time around. But right, they terrors gonna make him afraid on every side. Gonna be like Scrooge, uh, uh, Scrooge from the little Christmas story yeah. and shit. What you gonna say, right? I was gonna go here. Uh, verse thirteen, Job eighteen and thirteen. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. Yeah, it shall you. bring him to the king of terrors. It's telling you, the, the firstborn of death is going right. Yeah, that's, that's our Lord and Savior, man. Yeah. Whom y'all ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He, he resurrected into life, man. He died in death, but was resurrected in life. Not to live in death anymore. He would... That's why the scriptures say he's not going to meet thee as a man when he come back. Read that part again, I. 13. Okay. It shall devour the strength of his skin, even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. So Yahweh Shai is going to devour his strength. You know? And what's this devil's strength, man? His blessing was the sword. That's right. So the, the, this beast that he built up, that's how you know the beast. Is, is NATO and the EU. That's his military power that he established in the earth. That's this devil's strength and Yahweh Shai is coming to do war. No pictures. Coming to do war and devour this devil's strength. In other words, conquer. Yahweh Shai is coming as that conquering lion to put these devils into subjection. Devouring his strength. That's right. You know? This devil is going down, man. That's right, man. In a in a in a beautiful way. Come on. To for us. Come on. To the de to these Edomites, it's gonna be horrible. Right. You know. Go ahead, brother. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, That's and right. it yeah. shall bring him to the king of terrors. Right now, he's confident, man. He's confident in his wickedness. But all that confidence is gonna be dissolved, man. Yeah, what is tabernacle, man? Uh, I mean, basically, his, his tabernacle is wickedness. But uh, right, I was thinking about uh, the, the 
chief or the, the synagogue of Satan. You know, but yeah, go ahead, brother. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Right. And what's that? What's that brimstone? Uh, right. Yeah, bring it over. It's gonna be brimstone right here, man. In the wake of these intercontinental ballistic missiles, it's gonna leave fire and brimstone. Give me that verse again, brother. It shall dwell in his tabernacle, a tabernacle, because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Right, brimstone shall be scattered amongst his habitation. Now see, we just got through speaking on that. Jake sitting up there, they got knowledge of how to roll and all this stuff, man. But they don't they don't know nothing as they are, which oh. is this word, man. And we sitting here, we giving it out for free. That's it. You know? But Jake ain't gonna do right until fire and brimstone. Gotta fire that brimstone. You know? A lot of niggas ain't gonna make it to the they gonna make it. Martial arts gonna take a lot of our people, all right? They're not gonna make And then you got corn. You got this. Shit, some, a lot of them ain't gonna make it to They gotta get you know, past the race war. You, you, you polluting the Lord's temple, man, right? He is stuff. He Right. Yeah. But yeah, that's... Okay, hey, man, you hey, know... Jeff, we really do appreciate you, but I'll be having so much going on. I mean... Hey, you have it going on somewhere else. But I mean, yeah, right. Fuck out of here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we gonna step out, my bro. Yeah, this is smoke, smoke over there, man. Uh, what you got? Uh, this is Psalms chapter uh, nine, verse fifteen. And I say this, man. You, you think you got so much going on, man? You ain't got nothing going on till you come in this truth, man. Right, that's yeah. right, man. This truth, man, will put gray hair in your head, right. man. Oh, oh, on your face. <laughs> the, truth, the truth, man, gray you up. Uh. 